Hey guys, Tanner here with SDK Cattle and Hay. Uh, we're out in the versatile, we're out harrowing the uh, cover crops that we disc under. Some wires, dry oats. Uh, we're uh, overlapping so that everything gets aired twice. Um, that'll help with two things. Uh, that'll help with the uh, helping with the old, yeah, get that time. It will help uh, smooth the field up quite a bit more than just one pass. You can see there's a single pass there. Occasionally you can still see the clumps where the uh, where I uh, the it's not bad that would be that would be acceptable usually but we're going to use a second pass to help uh, further kill the uh, little bit of sun fires that uh, didn't go ahead and die just eat. As a result of uh, trying to turn under so so much biomass, uh, there were some that just didn't quite get killed. You can kind of see a little bit of green out there. Uh, some of it uh, might be a new plant coming up. It's been about a week since the kids. Some of it, or a lot of it's just. Uh, Residual branches from disking, and uh, this arrow. By the time it hits it twice, it uh, breaks up those stems, uh, kind of folds them over on themselves, and, uh, pulls pulls these plants up by the roots a little bit. Uh, it might it won't kill all of them by any means, but. Uh, it just will help clean it up. Uh, like I said, smoother fields for for hay production uh, is always a good thing. Now I can I can tell you that I'd uh, do a lot better job getting rid of the green out here if I had to just turn out some cattle out here. I could could have. Uh, just about uh, drilled into the ground uh, right behind the cattle, but that's not an option this land only gives me. So here we are, just farming away. Uh, here's a shot of the arrow. tractor to pull up to it rides better and I use it for most of the big tractor like this bit for tillage so that's what I use them for but we'll uh, since, since we've disc this uh, I've uh, I'd say we've got five inches of rain in the past week every every time I turn around it rains just over there, there's the uh, dry hay. Sloth the other day. Uh, my wife cranked it. And uh, see, after we swathed it, we got uh, I think six or seven tenths of pitch of rain on it. Then after she raked it, we had a rain and hailstorm come through. A lot of wind, some of the windrows have blown out. So it'll have to be re raked. And we got uh, 1.3, 1.4 inches of rain, uh, which is great for growing crops, terrible for drying them to uh, bale, but that's what we have. So thankful for every drop of moisture we get. It's 
it was dry for too long to be upset about it yet. Uh, but I'll, uh, there's another, another chance of rain tonight and uh, all day tomorrow. So I'll uh, probably start planting on this tomorrow just to uh, get some seed in. Uh, we'll move to the next field. The, the next field of cover crops that I got this. We'll harrow and drill it too. Um, I'll have to wait until I get this field bailed before I can plant over there. Just due to logistics on the 8930 pull up the drill. Paying for auto steer for efficiency. Uh, not using it. I think it'd be the best idea. But pulling the harrows, pretty, pretty easy job. Just kind of don't have to pick anything up, put anything down. You have to make sure when you turn, you don't turn too sharp and wad the harrow up or something. But. They got the, all that figured out. But, nope, it's still a good job. I'm not worried about any of the green oaks uh, trying to live much longer. They will uh, go to seed and die out. And the next crop after the feed will be oaks. So. Volunteer oats doesn't bother me. Volunteer rye doesn't bother me in my oats either. So nothing I nothing I cuts go into a grain elevator or anything like that. It's solely for me to replant my own crops. So. I'm not picky, then I don't have to worry about it being perfectly clean. Um, I do like to get the seed clean and get some of the weed, weeds and some chaff and stems and stuff out of it before I plant. But it's also not a huge, not a huge worry going through that great plains drill as long as the combine does a good job. So that, that drill will shoot through a lot of stuff. It's not sensitive as a uh, air seeder. As long as, as long as I'm running that drill, it's not I can tolerate a little bit of dirty seed here and there. And except for I and my oats, oats and my rye. Or, I mean, heaven forbid we contaminate my rye with some wheat seed. But, it's been rumored to happen. I always 
joke that I can uh, farm up the field out here. I can plant plant wheat and seed and cut the best rye anyone had ever seen. So it's just these farms have had rye growing on them for so long. Uh, it would it'd take years of intentional farming and weed spraying and crop rotations to get the rye out of the uh, seed bank. So I I don't fight it. Branch rye. Let it do what it does. It grows a good crop, makes good organic matter uh, to lay down into your soil. Keep sand from blowing, it grows. It's a very easy crop to grow. It's not picky about hardly anything, so. Watching again. Hope you guys are gonna. Hope you guys have a good week. Take care of yourselves. Like, subscribe, comment, ask questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, but God bless you guys. Thanks.